Even now, a lot of people travel to Egypt to view the Great Pyramids. We know that they were made by ancient Egyptians, but that's about all we know. Egypt was one of the richest and most advanced civilizations when these colossal pyramids were constructed. Despite the fact that there are many theories regarding these pyramids and their intended uses, it appears that we still don't fully understand them. Indeed, the pharaohs utilized them as a sort of tomb, but was there a deeper purpose, and why were they constructed in a particular shape? One of the brightest minds in history decided to tackle this issue directly. After studying the pyramids, Nikola Tesla harbored a strong belief that the Egyptian Great Pyramids held some long-forgotten secrets. Would you believe us if we said Tesla solved the secret of the pyramids? In what way do they defy explanation? Join us as we explore the terrifying truth about the pyramids revealed by Nikola Tesla. When the sands of history were changing, no place was more mysterious than Egypt. Millions are captivated by this desert beacon because of its unanswered mysteries, competing beliefs, and godlike pharaohs. The antiquity of this mysterious land's monuments, according to this belief, is so far back in history that Egyptology's answers seem implausible. This may be the greatest reason for Egypt's ongoing fascination. Many have speculated that the humans who constructed these objects so long ago were so technologically accomplished that they embedded the mathematical laws of existence itself in their designs. Most modern archaeologists underestimate how deliberate the ancient Egyptians were in their use of proportions, measurements, angles, and equations while designing their monumental buildings. It's also possible that these builders figured out how to get power from underground sources. The Egyptian pyramids have long captivated archaeologists with their impressive size and design, but the greatest mystery may not be how they were built so precisely, but rather how they were used as efficient power plants. The Great Pyramid of Giza was built in a certain spot and has a specific shape to store specific numerical values. Everything in nature and the cosmos conforms to this mathematical principle. There are those who believe the pyramids were built entirely by human muscle power, while others hold that they required some other, more outlandish form of energy. What if, for example, aliens stepped in to lend a hand? However, the theory that the pyramids were constructed using energy from a mysterious source has been around for quite some time. It is mentioned in ancient writings such as the Pyramid Texts that the gods gave us something to build a great power. Thus, it's possible that something extremely potent and enigmatic was happening at the time. Who can say? Tesla had an obsession with the Great Pyramids of Egypt in the early 1900s. After reading a lot of books about these old buildings, he was astounded by their seeming energy. Since very few people at the time understood much about electricity, Tesla began to wonder if the pyramids held some sort of cutting-edge technology. He believed that electromagnetic was responsible for the pyramid's power, and he spent a great deal of time and energy trying to solve the puzzle. Regarding the Great Pyramids, Tesla had some really strange notions. He believed that they would be able to transport and store electricity, which would allow them to power the surrounding areas. He also believed that crystal energy of some kind was used in the construction of the pyramids. He thought that these incredibly strong crystals that could regulate electromagnetic fields might be found inside the pyramid's chambers. That's not all, though. Tesla also believed that the materials used to build the pyramids had special qualities that enabled them to store solar and lunar energy. And not just a tiny bit of power, either. He believed that the pyramid could really produce a powerful energy field that could illuminate entire cities or even completely dark areas. To him, the pyramids represented enormous potential for harnessing renewable energy and powering mechanical systems. Tesla went so far as to think that the pyramids were connected to a source of cosmic energy that might be harnessed for the purposes of achieving enlightenment and physical health. Anyhow, Tesla wasn't making up these theories on the fly. Everything from ancient artifacts and literature to hieroglyphs and artwork pertaining to the pyramids piqued his interest. And he reasoned that the pyramids, using some unfathomable energy source, were built to act as energy amplifiers. Tesla had several interests in various disciplines of study, some of which were highly esoteric, in addition to the concepts that he realized and trademarked. Numerology was supposedly another area of interest for Tesla. Many people agree that Tesla was a peculiar and obsessive person. The digits 3, 6, 9 were one of his compulsions because he thought they unlocked the mysteries of the cosmos. He preferred hotels with room numbers divisible by 3, and he would drive three times around the building before entering. 
Other times, he picked things in threes. Some have hypothesized that Tesla's fixation on these numbers sprang from his attraction to pyramids and his conviction that universal mathematical ratios and laws underpinned all mathematics. Because of the lack of information about the pyramids' construction and purpose, some people view them as artificial constructs that are either energy generators or purposely installed messengers or even codes from an ancient society. Tesla, who hoped to harness the planet's electromagnetic currents to provide universal, limitless electrical power, was aware of these same mathematical principles. Tesla, like the pyramid builders, understood that the Earth is a magnetic generator with two poles that can produce infinite energy. He submitted an application for a United States patent in 1905 under the heading The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium and he created conceptual designs for a network of generators that would gather ionosphere-derived energy and be positioned at key locations across the globe. Tesla constructed generators based on the design of the pyramids because he believed that the planet, with its two poles, was a gigantic electrical generator with infinite potential. Tesla may have unearthed the secret to an endless supply of clean, abundant, and free power, but his innovation to capture it vanished when he passed away in 1943. The reasons behind this remain a matter of conjecture, among them the fact that free energy, be it from solar, wind, or electromagnetic sources, is detrimental to people who work in the energy sector. The intricacy of the mathematical formulas that the early architects employed to build what appears to be a complex electrical generator is even more remarkable. According to a notion put up by Christopher Dunn in 1998 and 2010, the Great Pyramid was actually a highly sophisticated structure that was utilized to produce power and wirelessly transfer it throughout Egypt. They were more than just locations to store the remains of kings and queens, as practically all tombs discovered worldwide have some sort of inscription. But the Great Pyramid's chambers and passageways have no inscription whatsoever, according to scholars. Furthermore, the stone box housed in the king's chamber has not revealed any chemical remnants of the buried remains. It was suggested that the enigmatic chest represented the king of Egypt's coffin, which is currently empty because his body was taken. However, a thorough inspection shows something astounding about the size and unique positioning of the granite chest inside the pyramid. Researchers claim that with a highly conductive material in the core, the pyramids might have produced enough electricity for all of Egypt. This intriguing superconductor has been speculated by historians to be the legendary Ark of the Covenant. It acted as a condenser and could release lethal bursts of lightning. The prophet Moses was known to have taken the Ark of the Covenant, the source of Egypt's power, with him when he departed the country. The white limestone tufa that covered the exterior of the Great Pyramid has good insulating qualities. It might therefore prevent any form of electrical leakage from the pyramid. However, the stone blocks inside the pyramid were made of a distinct kind of limestone that had superior electrical conductivity. However, from what source did they get such a massive amount of power? Actually, the pyramid's underground corridors and chambers were built using a significant amount of pink granite slabs. Quartz crystals make up a large amount of granite, which also has a small radioactive component. Granite contains quartz, which is well known for having piezoelectric properties. It's true that some minerals, like quartz, can produce electricity under mechanical stress. The Great Pyramid's facade was coated in insulating white limestone tufa, as was previously described. Therefore, it was impossible for an electrical charge to seep through it. However, if the pyramid generated too much electric charge, it might be released through the gold piece in the shape of a pyramid that was positioned at its summit. Since gold is known to be a highly conductive electrical conductor, it offers a highly conductive pathway for the movement of negative ions into the ionosphere. In this way, wireless electricity was transferred through the Great Pyramid. The renowned physicist Nikola Tesla postulated that the ionosphere, the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere, functions as the other plate of a massive spherical capacitor and that our planet Earth functions as one such plate. The Earth Ionosphere Capacitor EIC, model is the name given to this system. Therefore, the Earth's electric field achieves its highest value and density at the apex of the pyramid. At the apex of the pyramid, 14,600 volts of potential are thus available. While it was at the time against the law to get to the top of the pyramid, German engineer Sir William Siemens was able to do it in the 1800s. Strange things happened at the top. 
The Siemens felt a tingling sensation start at the tip of his index finger and extend to his hand when he raised it. There were also numerous additional strange occurrences that point to an electrical discharge at the summit of the pyramid. In addition, electromagnetic energy can be concentrated within the Great Pyramid. According to researchers, the Great Pyramid of Giza was built using an indigenous, antiquated method of concentrating electromagnetic waves that could be employed in the future to create extremely effective solar cells and sensors. However, to do this, we must apply the same idea to the EM wave spectrum's optical range. Now, however, the question is raised as to why the Egyptians utilized this wireless electricity. Many images discovered on the walls of the pyramids seem to indicate that the Egyptians utilized them for wireless electrical bulbs for illumination. There are indications that they utilized antennas to facilitate wireless communication as well. Such sophisticated prehistoric technologies are not exclusive to Egypt, they are present in other global civilizations as well. Many religious writings include a variety of extremely advanced technology, anti-gravity, and sonic levitation. The amazing architectural designs of ancient structures provide us with a clear understanding of the depth of their scientific knowledge. It's fair to claim that some long-lost cultures were more technologically evolved than the modern world we live in today. Through the ages, both primitive and advanced cultures have coexisted. Furthermore, author Andrew Collins proposes that the pyramids are associated with the concept of the music of the spheres, which is a relationship between the universe's primordial tones and how shape and structure are created in the material world. In order to precisely portray particular musical intervals, ancient engineers had to take into account specific proportions when building the pyramids and the geometry of the surrounding area. It remains to be seen if the monuments built by the ancient builders encoded the existence of humans. Some contemporary scholars speculate that Tesla may have discovered the same mathematical code in Egypt, which he used to search for an endless supply of energy that would balance with the planet. We might now need to examine the mathematical formula incorporated into the building of the ancient pyramids in order to fully decipher their code. The issue might very well be that we have been searching out there, in the cosmos, for solutions to our most pressing issues when the solutions lie within us. Hancock has long maintained that the idea of the pyramids has to do with how human awareness is changing. He asserted that a pyramid is unquestionably a tool that manipulates human consciousness, regardless of its other uses. The fact that the pyramids were built with such strength and durability guarantees that humanity will always possess the keys to the cosmos. For developing these views, Tesla was viewed by some as an eccentric, However, his theories have actually had a significant influence on how we currently view the pyramids. For years, academics and researchers have been delving into his thoughts in an effort to solve some of the most significant questions pertaining to these historic buildings. Scientists using tools from theoretical physics have lately studied the Great Pyramid of Giza's potential response to specific frequencies of radio waves. They discovered that the pyramid could channel radio waves of a specific length into its chambers and focus them at its base. The researchers put forth a lot of time and effort to calculate this. They began by considering suitable radio wavelengths. After that, they modeled the pyramid's response to the waves. To what extent the wave's energy would be absorbed or dispersed was calculated. Finally, they analyzed the distribution of wave energy within the pyramid. The scientists employed a technique known as multipole analysis to make sense of it all. To achieve this, one must disassemble a complex thing into its constituent elements. Then you'll be able to observe the responses of the individual components to the incoming power. The process is similar to disassembling a puzzle so that you can examine the individual pieces. The researchers want to know what use this data might have down the road. They hope that by creating extremely minute particles, they can achieve the same results with light as the pyramid. They can manipulate the light's path around the particles by adjusting their size, shape, and composition. This has potential applications in the development of ultra-sensitive sensors and highly efficient solar cells. Researchers in the scientific community had to make educated guesses in order to advance their work. They thought the pyramid was made of uniform material and that there were no secret chambers inside. They achieved some fairly spectacular discoveries while having to rely on guesswork. Tesla's foresight is not only demonstrated by the pyramid research, though. In the same way, scientists and enthusiasts today are re-evaluating and attempting to implement even more of Tesla's initiatives that looked unfeasible at the time. When it comes to electrical engineering in America, Tesla was already well known by 1900. 
His incredible inventions and the fact that he defeated Thomas Edison in the Battle of Currents astounded everyone. Tesla, though, wasn't willing to sit back and take it all in. He made the decision to start working on the Wardenclyffe Transmission Tower, his most ambitious project to date. It was constructed between 1901 and 1905 and was inspired by one of Tesla's most innovative concepts. He had an idea to build a global wireless communication network in order to accomplish the seemingly impossible. It would provide music, news, stock market updates, secure military communications, and even facsimile pictures using Earth as a conductor. Does this sound familiar? Yes, that sounds just like the wire-free version of the internet that we use today. However, Tesla's goal was even more ambitious – wireless power transmission. His fascination with wireless energy transmission began when he demonstrated with his Tesla coil transformers that high-frequency signals could be conveyed without the need for wires. His goal was to harness the natural energy of the Earth to not only change the way we communicate but also find a mechanism to distribute power currents throughout the planet. Tesla thought that a lot of free energy was available to us and could be utilized to advance humankind. After carrying out a series of ultra-secret experiments in 1899, he became persuaded that electrical power might be sent through Earth's upper atmosphere. In actuality, this is how the Warden Cliff Tower came to be. It was intended to serve as the model station for a global network of towers that would supply wireless energy to every country in the world. Regretfully, Tesla lacked the funding and investor patience necessary to see this project through to completion. After encountering numerous financial difficulties and obstacles, the incomplete tower was ultimately demolished for scrap metal in 1917 in order to satisfy Tesla's growing debts. It nevertheless serves as a somber reminder that even the brightest brains can have setbacks in their pursuit of their goals. The only Tesla lab that has endured is the original red brick facility, which is still standing. Fun fact, a crazy discovery was made by a film team in 2017. When they investigated the region surrounding Wardenclyffe with ground-penetrating radar, they discovered an extensive network of tunnels that extended hundreds of feet beneath the location. People have speculated for years that these tunnels serve some sort of purpose in Tesla's master scheme, but no one seems to know for sure. Naturally, Wardenclyffe is a significant monument for Tesla lovers worldwide. Who knows? Perhaps one day someone will solve the enigma of the tunnels. But even in such cases, Tesla's legacy and his brilliant concepts endure. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.